जय हो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू एस के सी बेसिस डिजिटल क्लास सेशन डियर स्टूडेंट्स इन प्रीवियस क्लास वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट द क्लोजर प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ रैशनल नंबर्स अंडर एडिशन एंड सब्ट्रैक्शन हियर नाउ वी हैव टू डिस्कस अबाउट द प्रॉपर्टीज दैट इज क्लोजर प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ रैशनल नंबर्स अंडर मल्टीप्लीकेशन एंड डिविजन Yeah. So as we have discussed, as we have seen in the previous class, that rational numbers are closed under addition, as well as rational numbers are closed under subtraction. Now we have to check: is this closure property of rational numbers applicable for the multiplication? Is it applicable or no? Just look at the. so here now we have to discuss about properties of rational numbers that is first property we are discussing that is closer property and we are discussing about under multiplication closer property of rational numbers under multiplication as we have seen a general formula that is for every for every a and b a and b are the two rational numbers so both are belongs to q in the set of rational number so here operation is multiplication that is a into b is equals to c is this belongs to q yes whatever the product we obtain for the given two rational numbers that product is also in the set of rational numbers clear it means the product of the product of the product of any two rational numbers into rational numbers and into rational numbers e is a, a rational number means you can take the product of any two rational numbers that product is also one of the rational number a rational number product of any two rational numbers is always a rational number for example example you can take what example we have to take let a is equal to minus 11 by 16 minus 11 by 16 and B is equal to B is another rational number that is two by three. Two by three. So this is one negative rational number, another positive rational. Number. Now what we have to do? We need to find the product of the given two rational numbers. So what is this product? That is a. So a is minus eleven upon sixteen into another rational number b is two divided by three. So here what we have to follow? We have to follow the rules of fractions where we have studied for a multiplication. Yeah. So numerator to numerator multiplication minus eleven into two. Minus eleven into two divided by sixteen into three. Yeah. So eleven two is minus twenty two divided by sixteen three is forty eight. Sixteen three is forty eight. So this product is it a simplest form? No. Is it a simplest form? No. So what we have to do? We have to convert this in the form of simplest form. That is, 
सिंपल फॉर्म सो टू लगन साइनस माइनस लगन डिवाइडेड बाय ट्वेंटी फोर सो टू लगन साइन टू टू ट्वेंटी फोर सार फोर्टी एट सो माइनस लगन बाय ट्वेंटी फोर इज आल्सो वन ऑफ द रैशनल नंबर नेगेटिव रैशनल नंबर By seeing this, we came to know that the product of any two rational numbers is always a rational number. The product of any two rational numbers is a rational number. By this, we came to know that what we came to know that closer property of rational numbers is holds good under multiplication. It means. Rational numbers are closed under multiplication. That is, rational, rational numbers are, rational numbers are closed. It means closed property is applicable for the product of that is multiplication of rational numbers. Rational numbers are closed under multiplication. Closed under multiplication. Both the rational numbers, whatever the product we are finding, yes. So their product is also one of the rational number. Rational numbers are closed under multiplication. So this is the word. We have to discuss of closer property of rational numbers under multiplication, and the last property, and the last operation that is division. We need to check is this closer property applicable for the division of rational numbers? Yeah. So next is second one, that is fourth one, that is under division. Now here is the last operation that is under division. We have to apply the closer property of rational numbers under division. Is this property holds good for rational numbers division or not? We have to check in this. Clear? Yeah. So in previous that we have seen under multiplication it is holds good. Means rational numbers are closed under multiplication. Now we have to see that the closer property of rational numbers under division. Under division, we have to check whether it is applicable or not. For every two rational numbers a and b, for every a and b, so both are belongs to Q. That is, both are. Rational numbers. Then a divided by b, b is equals to c. That is not belongs to Q for every rational number. Yeah, for some rational numbers, this application, that is this property, is applicable. But for every rational numbers. This is not applicable. Clear? So let us see one example. So what is that example? We have to see. So A is. So let us say A is one of the rational number. Let A is equal to minus thirty by. We uh, can take positive rational number. Thirty by Eleven, one of the rational number that is thirteen by eleven, and <coughs> we can take zero, zero by seventeen. Zero by seventeen means it is zero only. Clear? Now we have to check is this applicable? Whatever the division we do after that, whatever the quotient we obtain. Is that a rational number or no? We need to check. That is, we have to find division. A divided by B. A divided by B. A is thirteen by eleven. A is thirteen.
obtained by the rank divided by 0 by 17. 0 by 17. 0 by 17 is 0 only. 0 is also one of the rational number. You have to remember that 0 is neither positive nor negative integer. The rational number. Yeah. Then how to find the quotient? That is 13 by 11 we have to keep as it is. 13 by 11. Then this division we have to change as multiplication. After changing multiplication we need to find the reciprocal of 0 by 11. That is multiplicative inverse. 0 by 7 is 17 by 0. There are no numbers, no any number which is at the denominator 0. Clear? It means this value is not defined, meaningless. Clear? So this answer, suppose if you have to find the multiplication, 13 to 17. 17 into 13 you do. 13 7 is 91. 13 1 is 13 plus 9, 221. That is 221 divided by 11 zeros are 0. Here its value is not defined. What are rational numbers? The numbers which can be expressed in the form of P by Q where P and Q are integers and Q should not be 0. Q should not be 0. Then we can say this type of numbers are not there in the set of rational numbers. It means this number is not belongs to the set of rational numbers. It means by seeing this what we have to conclude that rational numbers rational numbers are rational numbers are not closed means that closer property is not applicable for the division of rational numbers. Rational numbers are not closed under division. Under division. Here. Yeah. So this is what we have to practice. Here. Yeah. So far we have discussed only first property which are used in your this yeah. So all properties we have to study. That is only first one we have studied. That is closer property. Closer property of whole numbers. Closer property of integers. And lastly we have said closer property of rational numbers. In all we have to give one conclusion for closer property of rational numbers on by saying all four operations. Rational numbers are closed under addition. Rational numbers are closed under subtraction. Rational numbers are closed under multiplication. And rational numbers are not closed under division. In the next class, we discuss about another property that is a commutative property on whole numbers, integers, and rational numbers. So till then, take care. Jai Hind.